Hey guys, the folks over at DF Robot were awesome enough to send over a Latte Panda Delta. And in this video, I want to do just a kind of quick unboxing and also kind of talk about some of the specs that come with the Latte Panda Delta. So uh, let's go ahead and jump right over to my desk where we'll do an unboxing and talk about all this. So the Latte Panda Delta has an Intel Celeron N41 processor that ranges from 1.1 gigahertz as a base clock, all the way up to 2.4 gigahertz on the boost clock. And that is a four core processor. We've also got Intel integrated graphics. It's the Intel UHD 600 that runs from 200 to 700 megahertz. We've got four gigs of dual channel memory, 32 gigs of EMMC 5 flash storage. We've got 802.11ac. Uh, dual band 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. Of course, we've got Bluetooth 5.0, a one gig PCIe LAN or NIC. We've also got HDMI and EDP for display ports on this, as well as a USB type C for power, three USB 3.0 ports, a micro SD slot. Also, it's got an AT Mega 32U4 co-processor on here for additional functionality. Okay guys, so here we are on my desk. We've got a few different things to take a look at. Here, obviously, we've got the Latte Panda Delta. Uh, this is the uh, version with four gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of EMMC onboard storage. Uh, we've got the uh, Latte Panda Titan case that we will uh, put this in. And uh, just in case I end up needing it, we've got a Latte Panda streaming cable. Uh, this kind of lets us do like a remote desktop via just USB instead of having to do a network connection or something like that. Uh, this actually uh, kind of creates its own network connection. So uh, let's actually take a quick look at that first. I have not taken this out. I have taken the other stuff apart or out of the boxes and, and looked at them a little bit. But um, so this will be, uh, this is going to give us some instructions on how to use it, uh, saying that we need to go to the website, uh, download some software, it looks like, uh, and make sure that everything here is compatible. Uh, like it says here on the box, uh, it is compatible with Windows and OS X. Um, so we've got this if we need it, but we're going to go ahead and not use that for right now. Um, tell you what, while we're just doing accessories, let's go ahead and pull this out. Again, this is the Titan case for the Latte Panda. And this gives us a pretty good idea of what everything will look like. Let's... There we go. <clears throat> so obviously this is going to be the top. Uh, on either side of this, uh, these two edges pop off, maybe. There it goes. So both of these will come off and give us access to GPI opens and things like that. Of course, we'll get more into all of that uh, once we take a look at the Latte Panda. Uh, here we're going to have some ports uh, on the side where we can access things. It's also got a little bit of breathing area down here, so that's good. Uh, we've got uh, some spots over here for uh, different accessories as well. Oops. And those are the screws to hold everything together. Uh, so with that being said, let's go ahead and dig out the Latte Panda. Okay, so very cool black on black uh, design with the packaging there. We open this up, the first thing we're greeted with is the Latte Panda. So let's take this out of the box. Well, we'll take that out of the box and we'll set this aside for just a moment. Uh, looks like we've got some more standoffs and screws there. Uh, user manual. Uh, so, so this is gonna be for the uh, Wi-Fi. These are a couple of antennas that can be used. The, um, the Alpha, I believe, has uh, two uh, plugs on, on the Wi-Fi card. The Delta only has one, so we'll only actually need one of these. Um, then we've got our power brick uh, with the USB type C connector on it there. Then we've got a couple of different options here for uh, UK or US uh, plugs that will actually just plug right into the brick here. And then as any good company does, they included a couple of stickers to put on uh, whatever we want to put those on. So let's take a look at the Latte Panda itself. So on one end here, 
let's focus, there we go. So we've got three USB uh, three ports there. Uh, under that, we've got a couple of M.2 keys. Uh, one is for an M key and one is for an E key. Let's zoom in there, there we go. So we've got our M key over here and our E key over here. Man, that focus does not want to work with me today. There it goes. So we've got uh, our M key and our E key over here. Uh, we've got uh, some other stuff on the bottom as well. We've got a touch port, a display port, um, as well as a micro SD port here. Uh, if we come over to this end, we've got our uh, USB port for the uh, USB Type-C. This is going to be our power port. Uh, I believe this could also be used as a, a data port. Uh, if you've got a hub or something like that that you can plug in to use data and power simultaneously. Uh, we've got uh, a 3.5 millimeter jack, uh, one gig LAN port. Super stoked to see that. Full-sized HDMI. Um, and then uh, we've got on this side, this actually has an Arduino built into it. So these are the GPIO pens for that Arduino. Uh, very stoked to see that in there. Um, and then on the other side, uh, we've got some other GPIO pens for uh, the maker board side of this. So uh, I think anyway, I'm pretty sure that that's what that is for. Uh, we've got a uh, power button here. So we've got an Arduino reset button up here. I think, I think that pretty much sums up all of the big stuff. Oh, uh, here on the bottom, here is um, that Wi-Fi card that I'd mentioned earlier with just that single plug on there. So uh, let's go ahead and get this put into the case then. So before we put this in the case, we will want to put uh, the wireless antenna here. We we'll want to plug that in and uh, make sure that it's good to go uh, so we can use the wireless capabilities on here a little bit better. All right, and here is our wireless antenna. So let's go ahead and get that untangled. Okay, so now we've got all of that put together. Uh, now we can put our screws in to hold everything together. All right, so here we've got the case all put together. We've got access to our USB three ports there. And of course, like I said, under here, it's got some air holes so they can get some air underneath, which is great. Uh, over here, we've got an SD card, um, our display, our e-display. This is our for our touch. This is gonna be a, like a hard drive indicator. We turn this around, uh, power port, audio, uh, or three and a half, or three and a half millimeter, gigabit LAN, HDMI, power button over here. Um, and then of course, a couple of mounting holes underneath if you wanted to uh, mount this to something. Uh, you could do that as well. And like I said earlier, we're gonna have access to those GPIO pens. Um, but what I'm gonna do is actually cover those up. Okay guys, so here we've got everything plugged in to uh, the Latte Panda here, mouse, keyboard, uh, HDMI, ethernet, and power. So now I should just be able to come over to here, find the power button press and hold that for just a moment. And if everything goes well, then that should turn blue. We should get uh, something here up on the screen uh, fairly quickly. And there we go. There is Latte Panda with our Windows spinner. Okay guys, so here we are uh, on the Latte Panda uh, desktop here. You can see that it's got uh, Arduino already installed here. Uh, so if we open that, we should get um, obviously the Arduino um, application opening up here. We'll give that just a second. Yeah, we want to go ahead and allow access to that. Um, sure, let's go ahead and do that. That'll take care of our next little thing here uh, where we're going to uh, hopefully be able to download. Let's download the installer there and just download, save that, view our downloads. Okay, so that happened pretty quickly there. 114 megabytes to download, did that really quickly. And now Windows is scanning for viruses. Um, there we go, so now let's go ahead and open that. Let's actually close this one and say yes, we wanna do that. Okay, let it do its thing. 
uninstall. Great. So I guess, oh, there we go. It has been uninstalled, good deal. So we'll go ahead and click close. And now we'll reinstall the new version. All right, so that's all going well. So now let's just go ahead and take a look at our task manager, uh, just so we can get a kind of an idea of what's going on here. Um, all right. So we got our CPUs pretty pegged out there. Let's go over to the performance tab. And yep, it is pegged out. Okay, so here we can see, uh, obviously we are using quite a bit of that processing power uh, that it's got to install this program um, and probably run updates, that sort of thing. Uh, we can see that we are at uh, a turbo boost of 1.5 gigahertz with a base clock of 1.1. We've got one socket, four cores, four processors. So no, no hyper threading on this one. That's fine. This is all gonna be single core performance there. We've been up for about oh, 17 minutes. So that looks good. We can take a look at our RAM. Um, we've got about 1.4 gigs available, give or take. Uh, some of that obviously is going to be uh, reserved for uh, video, I believe. We've got our disk. Uh, here, so we've got a capacity of 29 gigs, that's about right, 32 gigs of onboard storage there. Uh, Ethernet is working and our GPU is just kind of hanging out, not doing much of anything. So let's go back over and see how we're doing here. Still thinking, still working on what it's doing there. So we'll go ahead and give this just a couple more minutes uh, to finish up. Okay, so it looks like everything here is complete. So I can go and click on close. And here we can see that as soon as I did that, uh, it freed up quite a bit of our processing there. So that's good. Um, of course, it's probably doing uh, something else in the background there. Let's take a look. Um, Edge, Edge is taking up uh, some memory there. Let's get rid of that. Telemetry data, damned Microsoft and their telemetry data. Gonna have to go in and turn all of that off, I believe. But um, that shows Windows being all set up. If I come over to um, our files and go ahead and um, it looks like at some point before they sent this to me, they were doing some testing uh, to make sure it was uh, good to go. Um, like if I try to access that, can't be found. So it should just remove it. Um, anyway, so that that's what that is. We go to my PC. Uh, we've got our 15 gigs uh, free of 28 and a half. We can go right click and click properties here. So four gigs of RAM, 3.83 usable, 64 bit operating system. Everything here looks really good. Of course, Windows isn't activated and that is just fine because we're gonna do some other stuff with this in future videos. Okay guys, there is the Latte Panda Delta. Again, I wanna give a big shout out to DF Robot for sending this over. Uh, if you're interested in this kind of content, I will be making more uh, Latte Panda Delta uh, videos coming up very soon. So if you're interested in that kind of content, definitely hit the subscribe button so you can be notified when those videos come out. Uh, if you're interested in picking one of these up for yourself, I will have links in the description where you can jump over to a couple of different places and pick one up as well. Uh, but with all that being said, I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap things up here. As always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support and I'll talk to you in the next video.